Okay, if you've been on IG lately, you've seen this trippy color effect and the, the uh, limited variations people have been doing with it. Here are some variations we're doing it in After Effects today. So I'm in After Effects beta because we are going to be using a Rotobrush tool and the Rotobrush 2.0 is way better than the Rotobrush 1. And just to do that, we'll just do that right now. So I'm going to select my clip. I'm going to press Control D on the keyboard to duplicate my clip. Go up here to this little man with the little paintbrush, click that. Double click on your video layer and then just draw around your subject that you want to Rotobrush. Rotobrush is pretty much rotoscoping, but it's how everyone does it. Um, I'm just clicking on what I want to outline and then it will show green. Whatever I don't want to outline, I hold Alt and then just drag over it. And we're doing this in the beta, so it, it should be way better. But this is not the, the tutorial, we're just going to do this real fast and get to the the real meat and bones. Okay, so I'm just going to check this to see if it's a good roto brush. Now when we're waiting, please check out my selfie. I have presets, editing packs available, you might like it. Also subscribe and like. Okay, so now we're just, I'm just fixing this up a little bit by holding alt. Okay, so I finished roto brushing and to see... Um, my final rotor brush. I'm just going to uncheck the bottom layer and then we'll get this. It's not the best, but uh, it'll work for this tutorial. I'm going to feather it a little bit to about 15. Okay, now I'm going to uncheck the bottom. Now, the color effect that everyone uses is called Color Roma. So just look up Color. Here it is. It's called Color Rama. So Color and then AMA Rama. Just go ahead and drag that color onto your top clip, which is should be your rotor brush. Now you get this ugly green thing. A lot of people like to use this. The majority of people use, um, if you go right here to your effect control panel, output cycle, the majority of people use hue cycle. If I use, click on this use preset palette, just click on, click on that, click on hue cycle. A lot of people like to use this. Uh, I like to have more variation. Sometimes it looks okay, but sometimes it doesn't. What I like to do is I like to, I think I sepia, and then I like to just change the color to purple and blue. This is my style. Please don't copy my style. You can always go through these presets and then click on a color you like. Okay, so after messing with the settings a little bit, here's the color I got, and here's the color we all used. Um, it doesn't have to be this intense, but you know just to get a good color anyways let's get to the meat and potatoes so finally once you got your color uh, I don't know how other people do it but this is how I do it I look up optic compensation and right here under distort just drag that onto your top clip again and then first thing you want to do is right here where it says reverse lens distortion just check that and then drag this up a little bit and he should zoom in kind of towards it like distort towards the camera like this and now we want to move this view center to the middle of your subject and then I'm gonna change the settings again like this to about right here and now if you look at it we'll have this trippy effect now all we need to do to do is put him in front of himself again so on your top layer press control D to duplicate it and then on your fit controls with your top layer selected uncheck color Roma and uncheck optic compensation so now we have this trippy effect okay it doesn't also just only need to be like this you can also add a turbulent displace so if you go to your effect control panel and look up turbulent displace under distort drag that onto the middle one now because he's on top drag it onto the middle one we'll wait for the road brush to do whatever it's doing and then we change the amount we move the amount up like this and move the size down Let's see and then move the amount down to right about here like that now wait, now we have a crazy wave type trippy effect out of him okay so now I'm going to keyframe it so it doesn't just start off with the clip like this so you can keyframe the opacity so it fades in but it doesn't really look natural it just looks like it you faded it in so I'm going to go about 12 frames uh, forward and then I'm going to go to my op optic composition effect. Make sure your middle player is selected. Keyframe that and then go to the beginning and then just press zero. 
and if you do that we just need to do that to the turbulent displace now so if we go to your tur turbulent displace on the amount just click on the keyframe go back to zero and then press zero now if you look at it we'll have a trippy effect grow like this and another thing a lot of people like to do is if you want to go over the top you can search up glow and then just underneath the stylize just drag the glow onto the middle layer again change this to about 80 percent and change the radius a whole bunch Maybe if I move this up a little bit, like that. So now if we have this. Another thing a lot of people like to do is like to add rays. So if you look up rays underneath your effects and presets panel, and underneath generate, just drag the CC light rays onto your middle layer again. And then just mess with the settings, and your radius is probably what you want to mess with. Change this down a little bit which also it does a glow and then now if we look at it it'll do something like that make sure you check out my store in the description for some presets and some editing packs follow my instagram later